the use of tissue glue in cases of stubborn epithelial cell ingrowth. The eye is prepared using a speculum and tape for the lashes. A flap lift is performed using your instrument of choice. As the flap is dissected free and reflected back on itself like a taco, the sheet of epithelial cells is visible on the corneal bed. This sheet is peeled back with the use of a micro hoe. These cells are carefully removed from the corneal bed and care is taken to ensure that the gutter area is clear of cells too. The flap is then reflected onto the back of a wax cell sponge and even though it is difficult to see here, it is clear under the microscope how cells are being scraped off the back of the LASIK flap. Now mitomycin C is placed on a wax cell sponge and is sandwiched between the corneal flap and corneal bed. Once the mitomycin C has been applied, the area is rinsed and washed with BSS to clear the mitomycin from both surfaces. The flap is realigned as best possible and stretched out with the use of a wax cell sponge. The edges are applinated and ensured that no epithelium is under the edge. The corneal surface is dried and now the blue tinted Ocuseal tissue glue is used. You can see it appearing now from within the brush. It is applied in a U shape to cover the gutter all the way around. As it is being applied, it starts hardening and drying. Before long, the tissue glue is covering the whole eye. Now the excess tissue glue can be removed either by tearing it, much like one does a capsular rexus, or with the use of a micro scissors. First of all, the excess tissue glue is removed from the fornix by supporting the tissue glue on the cornea, you can tear the excess away from the conjunctiva and fornix. All excess ocuseal is removed from the ocular surface except for the corneal area. For the tissue glue that is difficult to remove with simple tearing, this can also be achieved with a micro scissors. Any adhesions are cut and the edge is exposed and with the use of a vanna scissors the glue is dissected free. The only tissue glue to remain is that on the corneal surface. There should be no tissue glue left in the fornices or on the conjunctiva. And this is how a typical case looks at the end of surgery.